previously in our last episode. Girl, we know you're gay. <laughs> Please. And just ahead. The motherfucker's concise. OG Creations is filmed before a live studio audience. Of two cats. G here from OG Creations. It's pretty standard practice for me that I complete my videos one week ahead. One week? Since I plan for this one to drop on the 8th of November, it means today's the first. I'm sorry I can't. Don't hate me. The motherfucker's concise. Yesterday was Halloween. The election is on Tuesday. And with my day job, night job, supporting my husband with his work ventures, and being the 24-7 nurse to my little familiar Sean, my nerves are not just fried. They're burned, rounded to ash, buried, tilled into the soil, gardened, grown, picked, prepared, eaten, digested, and shitted out. And in conclusion, here we are. It's over now. It must have been love, but it's over now. Before we get started, I humbly ask that if you like this video, please hit the like button, leave a comment or two, and subscribe to my channel. Your help will be greatly appreciated. Wigwags! What can I say about the wigwag? They're tedious, they're exhausting, but they're totally worth it. This video is going to be a little bit longer than all of my others because I'm slowing down the playback. That way, you'll be able to actually see how you can do this versus just watching how I did it. I'm starting with a white 100% cotton Hanes BVD that's been soaked in a soda ash bath for 25 minutes and then ran through the spin only cycle and then set aside until practically dry. I fold the shirt in half and then holding the seams of the sleeve, I turn it inside out and start smoothing out all of the wrinkles. With the smooth, wrinkle-free shirt in front of you, you will start to draw your half-circle guidelines. Going old school, I'll tie a string around my washable marker, and holding the string in the center point of where my wigwag will be, I start to draw those half-circles. These lines are only there to help you while you pleat your shirt. You don't have to measure these out. Start pleating up your shirt using these lines as your guides. Your goal is to create solid lines as you work your way around. Secure with a rubber band. Do the same with all of the lines until your shirt is complete. I like using these rubber bands as my guide markers during the dyeing process. So I will make sure that each rubber band is one inch apart once the shirt is completely tied up. Now with my ruler, I begin to measure out where I will draw my wigwag lines. At the widest part of the shirt, I find the center and I mark it. I then measure one fourth inch from the top and the bottom, making a mark for both. I draw a line across the length of the shirt for both the top and the bottom lines that I just drew. I will keep my main wigwag line within these parameters.
With my green marker, I start to draw a straight line from top line to bottom line, wig wagging my way down the length of the shirt. Throughout the marking of the shirt, I flip back and forth on both sides, confirming the lines on each since the dye patterns need to match. I start by applying Nebula Navy as my main wigwag line. I then work on my blue side, applying my hues dark to light Teal blue. turquoise glacier blue I spin the shower curtain around and start to apply my purple hues. Ultraviolet. Lilac.
hysteria. I let this set for about half a day or about four hours. I then flip it over and apply the dyes to the back of the shirt, making sure the wigwag lines and the blue and purple hues match both sides. Once fully dyed, I let the shirt process in a 70 degree space for 48 hours. It is then rinsed in cold water and then slowly increase the temperature to hot to ensure that all the soda ash has been removed. It is then ran through the laundry using a cold water cycle and then a hot water cycle. After being dried, ironed, and placed into inventory, it was added to my Etsy store ready to purchase. You can get this and all my other items by clicking the link above or by visiting ogcreationstore.etsy.com. Now I really love this one. 
I am so happy with the color transitions and the pattern. This one reminds me of a stone being dropped in the water and all of its ripples. If you have any questions about this or help any other tie-dye questions, make sure to leave them in the comment section below. I'm happy to answer any of them for you, whether it be this fun technique or anything on your tie-dye journey. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you next time.